Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We're going for a boat ride today. We're on the River Thames, of course. <laughs> so we're in London. Where else would we be? Cheers. <laughs> We've got the bar at the back exclusively, haven't we, Graham? Anyway, probably the noisiest place. I think it's going to get a bit quieter in a minute. Once we get going into the middle of the river. Now before we get started, I want to clear up some misinformation and disinformation on behalf of both with Scobie. You gossip mongers, you going on and on and on about how he's got skis when he doesn't, he has um, a snowboard. Omid has a snowboard, okay? So stop saying he's got skis because they're pretty naff and they're very much last season. Oh, he's going to give a running commentary on the bloody cruise. So anyway, I was hoping for the opportunity to find a quiet corner to talk to everybody about everything that's been happening with Meghan Markle, Prince Harry and Omid Scobie over the last week. Oh thank God for that, he's eased up now. <laughs> You'll be able to hear you now darling. I think he just has to give it give it loads, give it large to get to the middle of the river, especially if we're going down with the tide. Oh no, here we go again. Just put the starboard on. So right, Omid is losing his shit all over X at the moment, complaining that everybody says he's got skis and not a snowboard. I think we can add that to the list of things no one gives a crap about, don't you? I think so. Um, and also, I don't think he can ski either. The incredulous denials. Oh my God, are we docking again already? Yeah, picking up more people, <laughs> making more money. Oh, good grief. We're waiting for a family. I'm waiting for the bar to open. This is, it's impossible to make a video in London. It really is. I've tried everywhere. It's absolutely chock-a-block with tourists everywhere we go. Um, or there's noise, or there's music. We seem to be docking by the uh, London Eye. Oh, I lost my train of thought, or I've got Graham <laughs> coming asking me stuff. Right. While we're docking and it's getting quiet for a minute, let's get serious. So, my opinion, these are my opinions and my thoughts only. Um, it is obvious to me that now Meghan Markle is desperate, desperate. There are no jobs coming in. I don't believe her saying, oh, I wish I could tell you about my latest project. I don't believe there is a latest project because she's such a motor mouth. She always tells us before she's even signed on the dotted line that her PR does. I think William Morris are really struggling. Note to self, don't do videos on a Thames River cruise. Oh, look, look at the God, so many distractions. It's so different to being back on my boat or my house. Yeah, my house, my house, my boat, not Graham's. He's got a, he's got a dog kennel at the bottom of the gardens, but do you know what I mean? My mind is all over the place. London never stops. I've got to say, it's really growing on me. It is growing on me. And I've managed to strike up conversations with quite a lot of people while I've been here who've been most amusing. Oh, there goes Big Ben again. Honey Winnebago in a studio. Right, so getting right back to it. If you all cast your minds back about two weeks, in fact, you could probably go back to my videos a couple of weeks ago, and I was saying, I'm thinking that the money's running out. Then the story came out about Harry being 28 million in debt. They were still demanding a public apology at that stage, as far as I know, from the royal family for God knows what. That's all gone out the window. Don't need the apology now. They're just happy to come back. Then there are phone calls and happy birthdays all round. And I think that is building a picture that that 28 million story probably was as accurate as it's going to be. And I think that there's a desperate, desperate panic um, for them to get back in with the royals. I really do. And then I read this article. Now, it was in page six. And I, am, I will remember to put a link. I'm sorry I've forgotten because... Everything's crazy here. We're on this boat for the next hour. 
Um, so I thought, yeah, nice hours cruise. I'll have plenty of time to talk to you. Now, in this page six article, it reads very much as a sales pitch for Harry and Meghan's $14 million mansion. It's, it's like, I wish I could read you some of it, but I haven't got a phone apart from the one I'm using to talk to you on. Um, but it's like, this is where the Netflix, the Netflix Harry and Meghan series was filmed. I didn't tell you this this morning. There's been a page six article. Um, have you got Wi-Fi? I think so. I'm if you can Google Meghan and Harry page six, that would be fantastic. And then I can read out bits of you, but it reads like a sales pitch. Like they've had that. I know that is not the house that they live at. <coughs> it's like a film studio, but I do believe that whatever address they are living at, they're trying to sell it. Um, or maybe they do own it and they rent it out like a studio because it's the weirdest weird I mean it, it, everything's getting weirder and weirder and also if you cast your minds back a few weeks probably about four weeks I think you'll remember me saying things are going to start coming out faster 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 yeah got it here I'm sure you've got wi-fi on it seems a little bit on the slow side oh, will you carry on no 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 got it, it got it um I find the one that's about oh, allow cookies. I really hate that. I hate that every single website I open it says allow cookies. Um, I'm sure it was page six. Maybe it was another another one. I will find it. But it kind of read like um, like an estate agent sales brochure. You know, like oh, there's so many square foot. There's so many bedrooms. It's majestical this, majestical that. The architecture. And I thought, this is a sales pitch to sell this mansion. Whoever owns it, I mean, they must have some connection to it. God knows what that is. But I mean, the fact that they dropped the apology, the fact that they've distanced themselves from poor old Omid Scobie, he's been proper thrown under the bus. Oh, and he, he tweets things like, I'm not Megan's pal. Guess what, Omid? No one ever called you that, ever, ever. I think people refer to you as Megan's mouthpiece or Megan's cheerleader, I don't think anybody ever implied you were actually her pal. I don't know that she's got pals, actually. So that was kind of weird. But where else the hell does he get his information from, if not from Megan and Harry, or sources extremely close to them, such as, I don't know, them, as Warby, the judge found out through Jason Knorf, that yeah, it was from the horse's mouth. Are we setting off again? Um, Good, so the engines aren't going to rev up on me. I'm actually really looking forward to this cruise. For once we're not walking, we have been walking absolutely everywhere in London and we've got the lovely Lady Faith and her boyfriend. Now I've got to say, he's a really good looking lad. When you see him, tell me what you think. I think he looks like Ken, the guy, what's the guy called? Um, who plays Ken in the Barbie movie? I'll ask him. Let's go and find Lady Faith and and her boyfriend. She's taken the day off work. Well, she's got a day off. <coughs> oh, I remember the name. Ryan Gosling. Hello, guys. Now, who does Braden remind you of? Someone very handsome. Someone very famous and handsome. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> you need the sunglasses. Then you definitely look the part. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys, you look just like Barbie and Ken. It's adorable. <laughs> well, I think we're about to head off again in a minute. What do you think so far? It's quite fun just crossing from there to here. Do you know what? If I'd realized they did this, we wouldn't have gone to the trouble to walk over Westminster Bridge with the other 1.5 million tourists. Right, let's find Graham. I'm going to do a bit of a longer one today. Oh, they're letting the ropes off. How you doing, Graham? I just don't want my phone to fall off. This is fun. We haven't done this in a few years, have we? No. No, it was... Uh... Oh. 2018. Oh, look at those London eye blobs. They're right over the water. 
Can you imagine if one of them came loose and bounced right across the Thames with all the little rolling around with all the little people in it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Can you imagine if we did the swivel and it got stuck and you went over and it went upside down and you were falling around on it? Oh so, my god, or if the whole thing broke free and rolled all over London. I mean, they actually swivel as they go up. <laughs> Slowly, don't we? Yes. Look at all their little faces squashed up. I don't, don't want to go on. on one. No, I don't. Off we go again. And he's going to make loads of noise with his engines, I suppose, giving it full thrust to get to the middle of the river. So, anyway, um, I mean, people criticise us guys, people like me, for questioning, you know, articles, is there any truth in them or not? I think there has to be some truth in it. I do feel that the money is really running out. And I'm extremely interested to see what the follow-up process will be. Is it that we're all going to be gently spoon, or not gently, but spoon-fed a n narrative where Harry and Meghan return to the fold so the family can be all be together and forgiven and forgotten? So I don't know about you guys, Certainly not from where I'm coming from. They can go back and play kissy makeup with Charles all they like as a private family. I do not want to see them on that balcony, or as Meghan once very rudely referred to it, the veranda. I don't want to see that. And I don't want to see the Wales family like shoved to one side when they've had to eat shit and keep calm and carry on all of this time while the two crybabies have been kicking off and kicking off on Oprah and the cart and vanity and etc etc and it's all very nice that she can get a, put a party dress on which to that, that variety magazine thing women empowerment which I did actually think was very nice from the waist down and I'm not being bitchy saying that literally if I covered the top half of her body up it looked okay. <coughs> she can play dress up. She can go and be on red carpets. That's great. It's clearly paid for. It's clearly arranged and stage managed by WME. Um, she's not at the real A-list of things. She's, her Hollywood career is not taking off. And I've never seen anyone so oblivious as Meghan Markle. She grins like a lunatic, like she is the only person who cannot see it. Very interesting times ahead. I will look forward to reading your comments probably next month. But in the meantime, feel free to speak amongst each other. And, you know what? I might even go live. And I might even go live from one of these boats because they've got Wi-Fi. The only downfall of it is I won't be able to read your comments. That's going to be tricky. But then maybe when the boat moves further out of the area, maybe then I can do it and I could maybe go live on an evening cruise. Let me know what you think. Well, that won't really matter because I won't know. Well, I might if I go to another cafe. Never mind. Thank you very much for listening. And um, I hope you're all having a fabulous morning, evening or afternoon. I'll see you in the next one.